as the tribal people never retained any written record, so the travellers gave very scanty information about them. They passed their custom and culture through verbal communication, which was passed on from one generation to other generation. Some tribes were powerful and covered large parts of the territories, while the others were small, but they were found in every parts of the subcontinent. In the 13th and 14th century, Kokar tribe of Punjab was very influential. After them, Gakars became very important. The chief of Gakars, Kamal Khan Gakhar, was made a Mansabdar by Emperor Akbar. Baluchis were another large and powerful tribe in the northeast. They were further divided into many smaller clans under different chiefs. Gaddis were the tribe of Western Himalaya. In the 12th century, in present-day Bihar and Jharkhand, Chior chiefdoms emerged. In 1591, Chiors were defeated by Agwar's general, Raja Man Singh. In the northwest region, Baluchi was the powerful tribe. They were internally divided into smaller clans under different chiefs. A clan is a group of families or households claiming descent from a common ancestor. Kohli's, Berard's and various others were found in Maharashtra highlands and Karnataka. Kohli's were also found in Gujarat. In the western and central India, Bheel tribe were found. By late 16th century, most of the Bheel's settled as agriculturists or even zamindars. Many of them became hunter-gatherers. In Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh, Gonds were found in large numbers. Now let us learn how nomadic people lived and who they were. Nomads are wandering people who move from one place to another. Many of them are pastoralists who roam from one pasture to another with their flocks and herds. They often visit the same place every year. The nomadic pastoralists moved from one place to another traveling large distance with their animals. They consume milk and other pastoral products. They also exchange wool, ghee and other pastoral products with the agriculturists for grain, cloth and other products. Banjaras were one of the most important trader nomads. They moved in caravan and their caravan was termed as Tanda. Most of the time, they used to transport some material from one place to another. They were used by Sultan Alauddin Khilji to transport grains to the city market. They also transported food grains for the Mughal army soldiers during military campaigns. Many pastoral tribes sometimes sold animals such as cattle and horse to the prosperous people. They also entertained people by performing in different towns and villages for their livelihood. They also made rope, reeds, etc. and sold them in the market for their livelihood.